Hi, I am Dr. Dhruv Sutshi. I am a senior consultant neurologist. Today, I will be talking in brief about vertigo. This is one of the most misunderstood things that in neurology. Basically, what does vertigo mean? It basically means a feeling of spinning of the external environment which is experienced by the patient. So the patient classically describes like pura kamra ghoom gaya, like the walls were moving, people in the room were moving, all the images, everything that I could see were completely going round and round. Now, what causes these kind of symptoms? So vertigo can be central or peripheral. Today, I'll talk about the peripheral in brief because this is the most common type of vertigo. The peripheral vertigo is generally a quite often a postural dependent vertigo. It is a severe vertigo wherein the patient continuously feels that the head is spinning or the, or the external environment is spinning. Very commonly, these vertigos are, are associated with nausea and severe vomiting as well. And patients feel extremely distressed or experience these attacks whenever they are trying to change their position. So even a head movement or a change in body posture can trigger a severe vertiginous episode. And the vertiginous episode sometimes can be so severe that the patient may actually have falls. Now, what are the causes for these kind of peripheral vertigos? The most common in clinical practice is something called as benign positional vertigo. This is basically a vestibular abnormality experienced by the vestibules in the brain, which are two in number. And quite often the patients may have a side direction also during which they may experience these. Then you have some other kinds of vestibular vertigos which are near continuous and very severe in nature. These are called as vest vestibular neuronitis. This can occur after a viral infection or a ear infection and quite often can be associated with loss of hearing or ringing sounds in the ear called as tinnitus. So these are exp extremely severe kind of uh, vertigos experienced by the patients and generally it requires an emergency treatment with steroids and anti vertiginous drugs. Then you can have vertigos experienced by patients who are on some kinds of drugs which are called as ototoxic drugs. These include injections like streptomycin, amikacin, then patients who are on long-standing diuretics. So quite often patients of kidney disease also who are on diuretics for a long period of time can experience some vestibular damage and start experiencing these vertiginous sensations. Thank you.